Aries, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are having a lovely time. We are reaching the end of the month. This is going to be your weekly love reading from the 23rd through the 29th, ladies and gents. Let's jump straight in. I want four more shuffles. What's going on with the overall energies that Aries is dealing with? Let's get one last shuffle. Or rather, two more, right? This is the last. This is the last. What are the overall energies that Aries is dealing with? Fuck. Three of Swords, the High Priestess, King of Swords. Wow. The Tower. Aries, what's going on with you? The Sun, or rather, the Star. Sorry, the Sun is a star. And the Ace of Cups. Hmm. Wow, ladies and gents. It really seems as if you went through some sort of heartbreak, something quite atrocious. All right, you could have been healing from the situation and you're moving towards a new beginning. This could be new love. This could be new love within you or this could be new love in your life, period. This is going to be an interesting reading. All right, let's not get too morbid. It seems that you're, you're in the stage where you're entering a new beginning when it comes to your love life. Fascinating. Let's look into this tower, all right? What's going on? Before we get into this tower, I want some wings. Hmm. Now you already know how I get when there's caffeine around. All right. <clears throat> Sparks start flying out my ears. Let's go. What's going on with this tower? Ooh. Holy shit. Aries, two of cups. All right. Let me just, let me just tell you what I'm picking up here. I get the sense. Look, this could either indicate that there was a breakup, right? Between two individuals. But I'm getting the sense that there's a relationship that's actually coming into your life which is causing a tower moment, right? It's catching you off guard. You might've been fucking celibate. You might've been not non-dating. You might've been in a situation where you just weren't inclined to putting yourself in a position for emotional availability. And I feel that there's something taking place where two of cups, somebody's gonna wanna look into your eyes. They're gonna wanna speak love to you. They're gonna wanna probably kiss you, all right? Aries, what's going on there, buddy? What's going on there, buddy? Let's see. Tell me more about this tower and this two of cups. The three of swords. Two of cups to the three of swords. Yes, yes. Whatever the hell this two of cups, this is obviously. So is this relationship coming in or is this over? What is this? King of wands. The lovers. The page of cups. Aries, what did I say just a second ago? All right, this tower moment, I really feel as if you got somebody, whomever the hell this heartbreak is attached to, is going to be coming in, ladies and gents. Why isn't this focusing? Why isn't this focusing? All right, this is what I'm seeing here. Well, get ready to get your socks knocked off. All right, <clears throat> get your socks knocked off. That sounds so good. I don't know why it has a sexual connotation to it. Get your socks knocked off. I don't know. I guess I don't know. Some of you, some of you need to take your socks off when you have sex. I don't know why you got that shit. There it is. So, with that said, what's going on here with the star card? What's going on here with the star card? Seven of Cups. Perplexity, confusion, lack of clarity here. Mm. Tell me more. What's going on here? Fuck the judgments. Change of perspective. Change of perspection. Change of perspective. What am I saying? Change of perspection. <laughs> all right, ladies and gents. If you're new to this channel, I invent words all the time, right? So you might want to start trying to read my lips or actually try to understand what I'm seeking to convey because sometimes the words that I dictate don't make sense. Let's just say. All right. Anyways, back to an eloquent vocabulary, shall we? The judgment, this is all about realization. This is all about change of perspective. That's what I'm seeing here. So, Aries, you got somebody here that is going to kind of, again, rock your socks. I feel that there was a massive breakup. There was some sort of fallout. And all of a sudden, somebody's coming back for a razzle-dazzle. Three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Again. Okay, the judgment. I feel somebody here wants to resurrect the situation. The lovers at the bottom of the deck. 
All right, this is a reconciliation video, all right? So if you don't want to reconcile, you don't want nothing to do with that, might as well just click off, ladies and gents. This isn't for you, all right? Love angel, or what, what, do, you, what do they call you guys on these tarot channels? Earth angels or uh, light beings? What do you guys like to go by? Love and lighters? Love and lighters. I like that one. Don't call me a love and lighter. All right. Just keep it real. That's it. You go ahead and play with your titles all you want there, buddies. Let's see. What's going on here with this Ace of Cups, Aries? <laughs> Why I talk to you guys like that? Because I know you guys love it. All right. And if you don't love it, then you're not the type of Aries that I vibe with. But I've, I've already communed with a lot of you, Aries. A lot of, I've, con I've connected with a lot of you in, uh, during live sessions and just readings. And you guys are awesome. You guys are fucking crazy. You, all you fire signs. Except Leo's. I don't know what's up with Leo's. But anyways, Leo's, I don't know. I just, I, I just, Sages and, and Aries are good people. Nevertheless, Aries, Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. Okay, so it's clarified by the Three of Swords and the Six of Cups. Mind you, this is the third time that this Three of Swords comes out. This is definitely a heartbreak from the past that's coming back around for, whoops, another chance. All right, ladies and gents, let's see what's going on. I mean, this could be you initiating this. Are you pursuing somebody? You could very much be pursuing somebody. Let me get some more wings real quick. Hmm. If you haven't realized, I'm drinking Red Bull. That's why I'm probably off the chain. Who let me out of the cage? Who let me out of the cage? <clears throat> I'm having a good time, ladies and gents. I'm coming to you from Dubai. Actually, the north of the country. I'm not in Dubai. I'm in the United Arab Emirates, but not in Dubai. It's called Rala. I can't even fucking pronounce it. Right? I don't even know. But it's a prominent city here. Nevertheless, let's see. What's going on with Aries and their energy towards the individual that they're dealing with? What's going on here? The justice. So, Aries, I feel like you're trying to look at the situation with clarity, with a sense of integrity. All right? Integrity with yourself. So, for you, Aries, that are not going to take any bullshit, you are most certainly inclined to hit the fucking door and allow something to crumble behind you. Because, like I said, Aries is not taking any shit. All right? Aries is laying down the goddamn hammer. That's where I see Aries at. Don't be fucking with the God of War, Crosswatcher. All right? There we go. Boom. Tell me more about Aries' energy. So demanding, huh? Look at that. Tell me more about Aries' energy. Look what flies out. God damn, you look good, Aries. Look at you. The Emperor. You're the ruler of rulers, ladies and gents. You got people on their fucking knees. All right, ladies and gents, and that's exactly what you're bound to do or cause if there's any bullshit coming your way here. Hmm. Aries is standing their ground. Aries holds himself in very, very high regard. They are thinking merciful. So I'm not getting any egotistical or any bad, you know, energy from Aries, but they're also bound to be destructive, bring death to anything. That may be a bit discombobulating to their kingdom. Anything that may taint their royalty. Hmm. Tell me more about Aries' energy towards the person that they're dealing with. The Hierophant. Wow, Aries, you are at a you are at a crossroad in regards to someone or a relationship that you have a real strong connection with. All right, these fucking shirts, ladies and gents. I'm gonna start wearing pajamas for these readings, all right? Because these shirts are goddamn tight. I get hot as hell. Next thing you know, I'm going to do what I did in the Libra reading. And I was like, I was mid-reading. And I was like, guys, I don't give a fuck. And I took off my shirt because it was too damn hot. Anyways. So, you Aries. You naughty Aries. You probably want me to do that shit. I'm going to keep that shit on. Because then I'm going to distract you from the message here. Tell me about this energy. Aries, Aries, Aries. God damn. I feel that you are walking away from something, Aries. I feel that you're walking away from something. Yeah, straight up. I mean, something very significant, something very strong. All right, it could have been a commitment, it could have been a marriage. Wow. And you got love for this individual. Let's keep it real. You got love for this individual, but I see you turning your back and you are heading a completely different direction. 
you are abandoning something significant here. So it seems. That could just be your energy, all right? This fucking thing is crazy. Let's see. What's going on with, uh, what's going on with Aries' this person? What's going on with Aries' this person? What's going on with Aries' this person? Eight of Swords, stuck. Can't get you off their goddamn head. That's what I see. You can't stop thinking about you, Aries. So if you're walking away, Best believe that this individual is tormented by the fact that they want to reconcile with you, but that's exactly what they are not experiencing. What's at the bottom of the deck? I'll let you tell me. I don't even know. What is that? The Wheel of Fortune? Wow. This individual is hopeful that there will be a turn of events. They actually want to work on a situation to relinquish whatever burden is in between you and them. Hmm. Interesting. Tell me more about this energy. Tell me more about this person. Came out here seven. Of, wow, there are all sorts of fucked up. So this individual could be holding back from you, Aries. All right, could be holding back, hesitant, in making a decision, just absolutely discombobulated, lacking clarity, lacking initiative. I mean, absolutely stuck. Three of Swords, heartbroken. Okay, buddy. Tell me more about this individual's energy towards Aries. I'm being a little too harsh on them. Am I? Let me know, ladies and gents. All right? I know you guys got love for me as I got love for you. So if you think I'm a little too rough around the edges, let me know. I, I got thousands of people watching this. And, you know, last thing I want is to hurt Tinkerbell's heart. So, let's see. Tell me about this individual's energy towards Aries. <laughs> I hope you guys... You guys know my sarcasm by now, right? Anyways, <clears throat> I give a fuck about Tinkerbell's heart. So what I was going to say here is that this individual is just absolute, absolutely disenchanted. They are miserable, Aries. They are desirous of you. Queen of Wands. They are losing sleep over your sexy ass. That's what's going on here, ladies and gents. You could be dealing with another fire sign. <clears throat> wow. Are you sexy? The temperance? Could be a Sagittarius that you're connecting with. <sighs> Are you sexy, Aries? I don't know. Maybe you're fucking hideous. But this individual thinks that you are very sexy. Queen of Wands? This is the hottest fucking court card in the whole tarot deck. Are you kidding me? Queen of Wands. That's how they see you. And they are losing sleep over you. Mm, even if you're hideous... You're beautiful in their eyes, Aries. All right, so cheer up, ugly one. <laughs> cheer up, ugly duck. I need a... All right, guys. Look, I'm typically not like this, all right? I'm a lot nicer. I'm a lot I'm a lot nicer, but I'm drinking a lot of caffeine. Hmm. Caffeine probably has that effect like alcohol does, and people will argue. When you drink alcohol, your true colors come out. When you drink caffeine, your true colors come out. I just get uh, exuberant. All right, a little exaggerated, maybe, huh? Let's see. Who cares? Who cares, right? <clears throat> Let's see. Tell me about this individual's energy towards Aries. I want to know more. We want to know more, right? We want to know more. Look at that. That's you right there, the Emperor again. You guys got the same goddamn card. Remember, you had the Hierophant, and you were walking away from this. Let's get a little clarifier. Where does this individual stand in regards to this Hierophant energy, which is a mutual thing? Where does this individual stand? Tell me some more. Clarify this for us. While you were walking away, it seems that this individual is quite defeated about the situation, Aries. What the hell happened here? I don't know. I don't know what happened here, Aries, but someone here is very, very stuck on you. They're losing sleep over you. They're highly desirous of you. They, they can't get you off their mind. Let's just take a look. What does this individual desire with Aries, shall we? And I'm going to be taking this to the extended where I'm going to continue to deconstruct this poor, miserable creature that we're looking into here. I'm going to be looking into this individual's feelings. I'm going to look into their mind. I want to see what future they envision with you, Aries. I'm going to look into their actions. I'm not getting a lot of actions. Well, I, could, I could have been talking too soon. we got two nights here. All right. Who knows? But I'm also going to be looking into the near future of this situation. Nevertheless, what does this individual desire with Aries? 
let's see. <clears throat> Carter Sagittarius. They want healing, ladies and gentlemen. This person wants to heal with you. They don't want to hell with you. They want to heal with you. That's what they want. Six of Cups. They want reconciliation, ladies and gents. Somebody here is losing goddamn sleep over the fact that you just may be walking away from them. Wow. They're not only losing sleep, but they are depressed. This individual is most certainly depressed over you, Aries. Aries, stop being a goddamn heartbreaker. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Anyways, Aries, I'm, I'm going to get some advice for you guys just because you guys are awesome, you know? The emperor, does the emperor, do the emperors and empresses need advice? Everybody can take advice, right? We can all learn from, I mean, even children. Even children. <clears throat> so let's keep an open mind, shall we? Let's see whatever message. Mind you, this advice is not coming from me. This is just a message for you, Aries. Any advice for Aries when it comes to the situation that they're dealing with? Get two more shots. All right. One more shot. What's going on with Aries? Any advice? Ten of Wands. The Star card. Six of Wands. And the... All right, Aries. It's about time that you relinquish a burden that you've been holding on to. Whatever it is that you're holding on to when it comes to this situation is absolutely unnecessary. All right. I feel that like you should start planting seeds that will grow at a later time. Understand that progress is slow. So, so long that there's effort in the present moment, those seeds will eventually grow into something tenaciously strong. Okay. You have a lot of victory, a lot of recognition, a lot of success surrounding you Aries so tap into your own power move toward your own emotional groundedness all right because like I said if you're holding on to something this is absolutely unnecessary unnecessary for you to hold on to it's time to let something go all right you can most certainly attract new love if, if love is what you're desirous of when it comes to your current life understand that the queen of cups is what attracts love all right you can't be in this burdensome energy and expect a knight in shining armor to come at your door. All right, The knight in shining armor doesn't want anything to do with a fucking person that is holding 10 wands. The knight in shining armor wants that individual that is emotionally available. So if you are really desirous of love, love yourself. And the rest shall follow. I'll see you in the extended. Otherwise, Aries, it's a pleasure connecting with you always. And I'll see you guys next time.